am going to put Bustamani as the winner, and I'm going to pick 21 to 17. Well, I'll give Boosty 17, I'll give Tony 21. Tony 21, Boosty 18. Tony 19 and Boosty 21. 19, 21, 21, 19, it doesn't matter. Boosty's still going to win. That's it. Boosty is just going to win. Well, here's the toss, Bobby. I want to bet on this match so bad I can't I know, stand it. I know. I know. I know. You know. <laughs> Welcome, guys. This is uh, POV Pool, and we're watching this uh, race to 21 one pocket uh, live from Good Times Billiards. Glad you all joined us here. This is Tony Chohan versus Francisco Bustamante, the one pocket smash up uh, between these guys. They're going to play a straight race to 21 games, they're playing even. Uh, here's a couple rules, by the way. If you make a ball on the break, it's a re-rack. I like it. You like that rack? Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. Because it ain't supposed to go. And a lot of times, you know, if you, not, not that they would do it intentionally, but if you twist the rack a hair, the ball goes straight in. Yeah. You know well, what I mean? You, you can do it just by accidentally. But, you, you know, but the game's not designed to make a ball on the break. And then, uh, you know, they're, I believe they are playing the three-foul rule. Mm-hmm. One time at a tournament, Corey Duell broke the ball wide open like he was playing eight ball, playing one pocket. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't nut, remember what know, event that was. But he was he's a he's nut. Been, Corey's been... Uh, broke well, him wide open. He's been well known for <laughs> coming up with new breaks of his own. Anyway, here we go. Django playing his first shot of this race to 21. This is no good, and that was. Well, he got lucky there. Yeah, he, he's uh, trying to. No, he can see. He can see the yeah, four. He, I don't know if he can cross the four. But he can. Even if he can't, he can shoot into the shooting to the seven. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep, that's a good shot. That's a good shoot shot. the four into the seven. If the seven's off the rail, it's real good. But if you can see the whole ball, he's going to bank the four. You really can't. Hard to kind of tell from this angle. There you go. Don't tell me he's kicking at the ball. He is kicking. He's at kicking. It. He's kicking because he wants to float the cue ball, yeah. but right behind the seven. This is gonna go in. Hello. My, oh my, that was a good shot, boy. That was really a good shot. <laughs> that was really a good Not shot. a bad opener, sir. I Man, he hit that ball dead perfect. What a shot that was. Well, that takes some of the pressure off starting off the first game. Well, you know, he was guaranteed to get coverage on that ball yeah, anyway, still, right? Just the, up, at the speed that he hit it. Hit it good, too, didn't I, he? I don't want to say guaranteed, but... I'd go into these balls right here, go into those balls a little top right. This, this race of seven is going to take because these guys, they're going to be running out, you know. You know, didn't get there. Well, you know, we did uh, we did promise an aggressive match, that's for sure. I mean, well, we did an interview with uh, Tony Torres uh, a couple weeks ago about this match, and he said, you know, this match is going to be fireworks, you know, and you know what? It's fitting because we're right around July 4th area. <laughs> there you go. That was a... Look at Whitey. Yeah, I know. You take care of Whitey and she'll take care of you. Is what Ronnie used to say. Yeah, that was like, speaking of fireworks, a little Roman candle coming from... <laughs> you know what? I don't know if the 2-9 goes. Does the 9 kiss off that ball? Is that even, you know... See what I'm, see what I'm oh, saying? I see the shot. I don't yeah. think it is. It's a little. Di it's a little different watching on the monitor as opposed to watching on the table. You know. You're talking about. Yeah. Well, he just. Oh, yeah, that ball oh no, it's coming back around. 
that was not that was not good. A couple of bad shots already from uh, Francisco. I don't. It doesn't look like any of those balls in that cluster by the spot goes toward um, Boosty's pocket. I can't tell what he's doing here. That's Going the for the ten ball. That's the greatest shot I've ever seen. <laughs> he just stroked right through he's that ball. He's made two monster shots. Good lord! What a shot that was. <laughs> I've been playing one pocket 40 years, and I still didn't, I didn't even see it. Well, you know, do you, do you go for shots like that, playing one pocket? I mean, uh, I don't. I guess he saw it. Well, a way to get seeing as though none of those balls goes and boosts his hole, is, I guess he was feared he's safe, you know, but. Is he banking? He's just going to freeze the ball right there and try to put that. bank the nine toward his hole. Yep. Well, if he gets over any further, he's got him. Yeah. Four, seven, tens, five to nothing. Then there's nowhere to keep the score where people can see, is there? Um. Yes. Oh, there it is. Yep. Five zip. He's going for this. Bring his cue ball. Three He's got to make around. a move quick because the longer this goes, you know, if he well, starts moving some balls down the table, boost, he's in trouble. Yeah. Well, Tony was just, I mean, a lot of confidence coming out from the gate here. <laughs> telling me, I'm telling you. Nice cue ball. Mm -hmm. If he would have froze him on that three, it would have been Katie bar the door. Now, Boosie's got to do something quick. Daniel, this, this match is uh, this well, he, game. Is he's got to look at the 15 ball. You see, he's got both sides of the 15. So he, this is a good shot to, for him to turn it around, you know. No, he's just going to try to tuck him in. Well, that's what I mean. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's his, that was his opening right there. That Those are going to be the moments where Tony's aggression, if he doesn't execute properly, that is that going to backfire on him. That's when Boosty's going to find, you know, when he's going to open the door for Boosty. He can just nudge this ball and keep him froze right on the ball. Just like that. That <laughs> looks pretty frozen. I think he can. I don't think he wants to nudge down again. He's gonna try to keep his cue ball down, down here. Yeah. Hey, I'm good. Boosty will go. I mean, uh, Tony's going for this, right? Yep. Yeah, and just put the, bring the cue ball all the way back down. Yeah. On the rail, unless he can hit the six here, but I don't. I can't tell from here. No, he can't hit the six. Never mind. Yeah, P is going to move all the ball. But this is no good. This this three ball banks. I could turn this ball in. Well, Bank the if three. If you can, <laughs> Francisco you. can. No, I don't know the shot. I've maybe, turned those balls. I've turned. Turn those. that three back in. The cue ball goes right up there by these two stripes. Yeah. And he's got a free shot. He got a free yeah. shot to make. Five With balls left here. English. Well, this, no, you got to hit this ball right English. Right, right English. Mm -hmm. Which makes it spin to the left when it hits the rail. Just like that. Just like that, but he hit it bad. Yeah, he hit the point. <coughs> he hit it too. That was a bad was, shot. He Tony hit it, left him. He hit it hard to where the, uh, <coughs> the three ball almost came halfway through, you know, to the other side he of the table. He got a free shot here at the two. He'll just draw over here about one diamond past that side pocket. 
Stun the ball a little bit. Yep. A little bit of low left. Maybe kill it. And just just kill it a little. Slide, slide, right into slide, there. Yeah. Right into there. Look at this. He ain't shooting no, at he's, he's taking no, he's not taking no chances. Yeah. The three he's got the same shot on the three. Look at this. This is not a tough shot. Hit this ball with low right and push it with low right. I'm telling you the ball you gotta turn it with low right. Low right with a level stroke. Okay. You, watch. Can't believe you left him the shot again. He's got a chance to get out. Not get out, but get some ball. Oh, no. Then he over, then he over. hit it too shallow, yeah. <laughs> then he overcut it. A minute ago, he undercut it. This time he over, he, you know. He's ducking. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's in... He's gonna be doing a lot of that with, the, with his hand, <laughs> looking for uh, looking for light mm -hmm. between those balls. Playing Tony, he's gonna be doing a lot of that. Those are some shorts, though, Rob, uh, Bobby. You were you were uh, right. I told you, it's worth it. It's like him, it's like Boosie giving him a ball. You were, no, I said <laughs> those are some shorts. I know. <laughs> oh, oh, it's like Boosie. Yeah. You think, he can, you think he can come off this two ball and high behind 13? Yeah, but this boy, he's got to hit it real thin. Well, you know, if he hits it actually a little a little thicker, he actually hits the... Uh, but he's going to move them balls up. The other ball toward 13. He might... He's not... He, yeah, he is thinking about it. Yeah, he doesn't want to... Or is he going to play a kick and stick on the... No, he's... He's taking a foul. Oh. Well, you know, that's all right, because what don't matter if you need eight or nine. You know, what's one more ball? I mean, it don't matter from here. Yeah, but uh, I would have at least, maybe maybe just the kick and stick on a 13. Mm, it's, yeah, but could have got away from him, for, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know, but. I like this, I like what he did here, but. You do. This turned out pretty good right here. He's got him thinking a little bit. Are they playing with the measles ball or just a red circle? Do you know? They're using a... Uh, red circle, it looks red like. Red circle. And what he's doing here is hard to see from here. Did he lead him straight in on the deuce? <clears throat> if this two ball goes, does the two ball go by the three, Daniel? Um, if it does, he's got a chance to... Boy, it looks like it does. Hold on, let me get that angle. Well, if it does, he's got a chance to make five, six balls here. I think it does. Yeah, he's going for it. He's going for it. Tony was trying to freeze him up on the two. Well, he makes this ball. It's Boy, can you believe this? This, this, is a, this, is the, this is a turnaround. Right I'm here. telling you. That was a good shot. What did, I mean. He's trying to freeze What, is, what did Tony trying, do to. He was trying to freeze him I on got the two. To, pulled away. He, trying to, he was trying to freeze him on the two and the cue ball just stopped. He took a foul to freeze him on no, the two? No, he played safe. He shot the eight ball into the rail. He just shot the eight ball and just trying to freeze him into the two. Like slide over like two inches. Boosty was on minus one there, so he actually now he has two. Remember? 
Yep, look at this. He's a little he's out of line here, but he's all right. He got like on the fifty yard line here. Tony's real lucky here that he got this bat on the eight because he could have got those other stripes over there and was made it an even game. He got about he got to watch out for scratching inside here, two rails. No, he's all right. Look at this. Oh, he came around the fifteen. Now he's gonna hit the. Uh, take a, a shot at the nine. I mean, he might. He has to, because that's worth uh -huh. four more, three more balls, four more balls. Oh, he makes this is, what a critical shot this is. Critical shot. It's going. Just split the wicket. That was beautiful. That's that was all hard, pocket. I'm too. telling you, hard to. But that's the thing about Francisco you were talking about, you know. I mean. One pocket may not be his best game, but he uh, shoots so good. He sick. shoots so good. You cannot leave him anything. Now, see here, this is he's he's probably going to try to draw back and get on the twelve. I'm sure he is. Watch well, that's, that's solid as a rock. Bro. Oh, did you see that snap? Split that snap pot. on his. Uh, I'm telling you, he, the guy hits the cue ball perfect. Every time he hits the ball, it's sick. That's so strong. So five he he's got seven. Arm. He need he needs two. He needs two. Because he owed one, yeah. Yeah. That's a huge run for him. It's sick, it's just I'm telling you it's crazy. That's why you can't that's how you gonna bet. How can you bet against a guy that just shoots like this? I'm telling you. What's he going to do here? Is he just going to lay up? <coughs> He's not going to play it. I would have drew back and banked the 13 over here, but. I think he, I, I don't know if he overrolled or anything or something. I don't know what he was. I don't know what the there strategy was, is was, to get shaped there. I think he was maybe trying to get over there close to the rail and bank this ball. You know what I mean? But he hit it like half speed. He's on one right now. <coughs> yeah. Which means uh, <coughs> Shohan's on two. That was no good. That wasn't really, oh that was really no good. That was, was like uh, that was really no good. <coughs> Excuse me. See, and once again, you're going to get <coughs> situations where Bustamani doesn't really know what to do. He, that was a bad yeah. shot he just made. Yeah. I don't think it's six eight. I think it's uh. Boy, it does wow. ball good too. But you did do the dipsy doodle here. He hits the ball with a, with a high ball. It does a dipsy doodle. Cue ball comes out, and you know what I'm saying. Watch, it'll just go like that. Just hit this ball medium, medium firm. Watch, up, up. Almost did. Almost did. He, he got lucky there. He got lucky there. That was a, that was a bad. You got hit that ball high with 12 o'clock. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. And the cue ball stays on the rail. Mm -hmm. He got lucky that he didn't leave him a bank on the six. You know? Yeah. Tony, <laughs> Tony banking wide there. He just didn't know the shot. That, you know You know the shot I'm talking about, man. We hit it hard in the cue ball like this. Right, a little uh, yeah. high karate. Yeah. But the, right. but the double kiss. High karate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Ooh. It was a pretty good first game, uh, uh -huh. the way it turned around. It's a fast first game. I can't sure. believe that it turned around. He had him like in five to nothing and made that mistake. I don't know what he's going to do here. He's just going to.
Boosty's gonna go for this. I believe so. I'm gonna put the cue ball right on the rail. See the what, look on it. You can just tell the look on his face sometimes. <laughs> what he's gonna do. Looks like he's shooting a six. He shot that short. We better be careful here. I don't know what he's gonna do here. I don't like shooting. I don't like trying to cut the six in. This no, is good. I don't think so. It's, and he got a it's, funky it's, angle. It's too late in the game to try a shot like that, you know. Too high, low percentage. Unless he feels like he can play the good cue ball. And go back and forth. You know, if he hit, he's got to shoot this ball over here. He's making this ball three rails. Three rails. Just like this. Yeah. <gasps> Side pocket. Oh, he left a cross. He got a little funky. He's got to hit this ball. If he, he's got to hit this ball low left and hit it and stiff it in, yeah, hit it pretty hard. He'll drag this cue ball though, and he, he won't even go up above the six. Oh no! Oh, he's he stiffed it. That's good speed. Well, I gotta kind of favor uh, Tony in these situations because he's gonna have a lot more, you know, <clears throat> familiarity with the right shots. Yep. This is a little this is this is a little tricky here. How about that shot? Do you like that shot? Just shoot the fifteen into the six. Oh no 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 no. No. It's because it's too flat, right? <laughs> you gotta be like it's right too on, flat. You gotta hit like pinpoint, yeah. He hit might be half. trying it. He might. No, he's Oh yeah, no, that's a shot. Good shot. That was a good shot. Yeah. And now Tony can't go for this because he'll push the 15 away. Both these players, uh, you know, they played for a day and a half. They're, they're both pretty happy with the cues, with the tables, the, the table, the way it's playing. The cloth's about a month old, Simona's cloth. And the pockets here are pretty tight. I yeah. Think, I think they're cut at four inches. Is that right? No, I don't think it's that small. Like four and an eighth? Yeah. And the cloth, you don't want to ever have new cloth when you're playing one pocket, especially one pocket. Balls slide around, bank no, funny. No, you're not one pocket. <clears throat> you know, they bank long. It's just. Yeah, yeah Jesus. It, it takes probably multiple days to dial the banks in on the table with brand new cloth. Kiss. He needs a good cue ball here. Wow. Decision time, huh? What do you think uh, Francisco will come around, try to come around five rails? Just go ahead and. He might shoot this ball, and try to hit the six. Hit come the in six. Behind the hit six. the six, yeah. He could. He might not even shoot at it. Well, he's not even going to shoot at it. The smart shot. I like it. I, that's a smart shot. That's a tough shot on the 12. <laughs> I 
he'll just bank the 12 back down there about the 10 or whatever that ball is down there. Bank it, two ball goes there and ball goes down there. That's the right shot. He might not yeah, do it, but yeah. that's the right shot is bank that ball, put it back down there, and then leave the cue ball on the rail. This is not the right. If he's shooting the six, this is the wrong shot. Shoot the six and push the 15 with the cue ball. Oh, no, he played your shot. He just doesn't look like he's playing your shot. Yeah, probably. yeah, yeah. And, and we're all, we just don't have it's faith so in him. Funny. We don't have faith in him because we, we know don't know how well he knows the game. Like Alex, even him, Alex. They'll shoot. They'll shoot sometimes the wrong shot and hit it and hit it so perfect that they don't sell out. Right. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, the, yeah, I do know what you mean. They'll shoot. They'll shoot the wrong, the harder shot, the wrong shot, and hit it just perfect. Yeah. And it and it turns out good for them because he just hit the ball so good. You know. Tony doesn't have much of a deal here to do. He don't want to shoot. I think he's banking this ball back. No, he. He'll try to twist this in, but this is tough. No, he ain't gonna try to make it. Surprising, they're both. Uh, they're both really being careful here. Bushy's gonna go for this. I think. He's banking. I don't think he is. No, he is. He'll. He's supposed to. The six or the. Or no, the, this ball the, here. Just hit like a third of the ball, banks right back toward his goal. The 14. Nope, he's not going for it. See, I didn't think he would go for it. Oh, I like this. I like that shot. Look at the cue ball. Wow. Not bad, not bad speed. <laughs> not bad speed control, huh? I think they're, they're both like, uh, they both really want to win, you know? I mean, they're both going to take it easy. I think they're going to loosen up, though. Oh, you're going to see it. Here's another rail, sir. <laughs> uh oh. Sold out. Uh oh. That's a free shot all day. He's making, he'll make this one. Missed it. He overcut it. Overcut the room rent. And he'll bank this ball with a low right. Go two rails, go right toward that ten. Yeah, yeah. And this is not really a tough. This is not a tough shot either. He should make this. Yeah, you don't have to worry about the cue ball either. The fourteen protects the scratch. It's not even. He hit it bad. Oh my goodness. He hit it thick. Yeah, he hit it. He didn't hit it good. Look at this. He's no. He's not. He's not gonna shoot at this. Well, he's gonna kick at this ball. Look at this. He's gonna kick it towards this hole. The score is not right. See, I knew he had five. Who? Tony. Yeah. Would you have? Tony it? had five. Would you have it on I six? Had, I had six up there, but I knew he had five, and I was like, wait a minute. He got to avoid hitting the six here with a cue ball. Uh-oh. See what this looks like when he spots this Boosie ball. doesn't want all those balls down there. No. He only, he only needs one. He, he, you know. You know, this is a little tricky here. What's he can't that? shoot the ball at the spot. And then he can't leave. Because yeah. he'll run in the other uh, ball over yeah. there. And he can't leave a bank if he uh, if he goes down there. It's hard to thin anything because, you know, he needs to somehow come to the bottom rail. He's going to have to shoot that ball over there that's closest, you know what I mean, closest to the rail, this one. Yeah. 
maybe thin, uh, thin over the top of the 15. That's a tough shot. He, he might leave a bank on the six. Uh-oh, what's he hey, doing? Kelly. Wow. <laughs> I knew he was going to hit it. He hit that it was good. strong. Yeah, it was. He hit it perfect. That was strong. He hit it perfect. Tony, Tony's going for this, and he wants to keep his, his cue ball down underneath the If he the makes six. this ball, he's back in the game. Because he's going to probably have another shot at the bank on the six. No, he's a, it's not his out oh, ball. Look at this. How bad did he hit this ball? Yep, yep. He hit, it up, he hit the diamond. Tony's <laughs> so strong with the banks. I mean, especially the two-rail bank, long, uh, long short. Every game, something like this. We'll be here this time tomorrow. Right? Yeah. Well, it's open 24 <laughs> hours. I get sleepy by 11:30. <laughs> I'm not holding you to it, Bobby. <laughs> but then again, maybe I should write that check tomorrow <laughs> instead of today. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, you came close. Will he go for this 14, you think? Because uh, he can put the cue ball right where that chalk is at, hide him behind that ball. He's got, I would shoot at it. Yeah, yeah. He's got blockers. He's, he's got that ball blocking it. I think it's good too. It's going. It's going in. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Game. Game one. To Francisco. We got some characters uh, here today. So far, we got. Uh, hey, Jeff Gray just showed up to hang out, man. My brother, Jeff Gray. Uh, Coffee Black. How about you? I'm doing? good, thanks. Uh, Max Eberly, Max Eberly came to hang out with us. Leave my camera right back here, thanks. That was the most amazing game. I can't, I can't believe how he let him get out. You know, had him five to nothing. That's why he can't. Yeah. What's that? We're keeping score. We're keeping score. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's a good idea. We try to get something for the audience too. Yeah. Okay. You want to sit down with him? Me too. Me too. Do it. Do it. Max Eberle. That was a Mad Max a million, my buddy. <laughs> Who has in the last? Uh, He's a straight pool genius. Yeah. He's, and then in the past five, uh, six months, has somehow become a one pocket. Uh, Expert too. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, they all, we all they all do. <laughs> I got the worst story about that. We we backed him for a thousand dollars in Chip Compton. And How were they playing? Even. Why well, you have you lost your mind? <laughs> we're like Max. How how well do you play one pocket? Well, we are already riding a win. You know, we were on a win already. I, I can I can give I could play Max probably like. <laughs> Yeah, no, Easy. I know. We lost bad. We lost bad. We're like, Max, you don't play one pocket. No. The other day, he <laughs> the other day he posted on Facebook. I'm giving one pocket lessons. I said, I'll give you eight, seven in the breaks. No, he doesn't. Uh, no, Max. gotta love him though. Gotta love Max Emberly. Yeah, but his one pocket's a little. Uh, and the funny part. Straight pool champion though, for sure. Oh, well, the funny oh, look part at this. about look at this. 
You know, and here's the funny, here's the weird part about it. Max banks good, and he runs balls like a machine. I don't know why he can't play one player. And see, this is this is this is tricky here. I think he's going to shoot this eight ball and or this ball here by the seven, and then float back up because he can't shoot the three. He might even shoot the combination. He's he can't shoot the three because why? <coughs> because he has nothing after that. Mm -mm. He can shoot the eight. He's got to shoot this ball. No, he can't shoot the eight. No, he's shooting this. What are you shooting? Seven. You no, he's shooting the eight, I'm telling you, the black one. Yeah, that black ball there. Whoa! Boy, that was, a, that was, that was not good. That was a big mistake. If he was going to shoot that ball, he should have tried to float and come back and hit the three, you know. Yeah. Never tried to go into those balls. That was a bad, bad decision. He Did Tony get lucky here? It. Yeah, I don't know. He I might have got away with it. No, I think 13, 13 goes. Yeah. Oh, no, maybe... 13's got half he got the, he got the he got the uh, what's that 15 no, he's got to shoot this ball in the rail yeah the 11 the 15 you're right it's the 11 13 goes doesn't it you have half a pocket he might get up again watch no he's in look at this he's in there he's gonna shoot the 3 has to Apparently this ball goes. Oh, oh, oh. That was critical error. He should have got a whole bunch of balls there and he got two or three. He got two. Man, and he should, I mean, he, the, oh, boost him on, he got lucky there. Yeah, I'll say he did. He can, he can stick. You know, he, liked, he can he stick him behind these balls with the five, but, uh, but, but there's really nothing really toward his hole. Like, you know what I mean? Well, there's a couple of balls. He's trying to get him, put him under the covers. Five. Yeah, but he's make sure he don't come down this way. That's a shot. There you go. That was good. That was very good. Tony knocking the 14 away. He's just going to try to put him behind this eight. That was very well played. See, if he's going to be doing that with his hand a lot. <laughs> Why he Why does he do that? Does he just do it all the time? Uh, he's always looking for the, see if it's frozen, you know? Well, he's everybody does that, though. <laughs> you don't do that? I'm just saying, he's going to be doing that a lot against Tony Chohan because Tony will stick him. He'll freeze them uh, up oh, against I get, balls. I get, yeah, it I'm just, just went saying. Over my head. If, yeah. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do a montage of all of all the freeze frames of all the times he does that during this match. Yeah. <laughs> I don't guess you know, this combination don't go. Throws him on that ball. That's a good shot there. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
Boy, this is this is tricky here. You got, he's trying to thin the eight and, yeah, and come, come back, back down. Yeah, that's tricky. But Ooh. Oh, oh no, yeah, he's all right. No, no, no. Oh no. Oh, that could have been. That could have been a terrible mistake. I know what I would do. I'd bank the one in those balls. Into those three balls? The, the five and the nine and the... Yeah. Really? I would force a cue ball about three inches. Hard to tell from here. It's just... I, I don't I don't know if I like it because... It, it, yeah. could, it could carry them off and go in front of us just, all. But yeah. I like banking the five. Uh, no, the other way, I was thinking. Because yeah. if you bank the five the other way, you hit the, f the 15 toward the hole. Funny how we got our, we all got our own shot, you know. I would sh I would shoot the eleven and just clear those balls out, boom, and just keep the cue ball right there. Yeah, just hold under the. You uh, just stop, just it, both those. Hold balls, under that. Yeah, uh, both those balls go out of the way. Yeah, that's the four ball. I've never left that ball sitting there, but. Who do you, who do, I'll give you a little information. Who do you, and this is a fact. All of the ch ch top one pocket players will probably agree. Okay. If they're being honest. If they're being honest. Who do you think moves better than anybody's ever played the game of one pocket, safety wise, defensive wise? And I'll give you a hint here in a minute if you don't get it. Well, I mean, a lot of people are going to say the magician, but I mean, Alex? Oh, no, not even close. No? Are you, you, are you talking about of all time or? Probably the last like, 30, 40 years. Like right now. No, probably the last 30 years. Okay. Uh, well, that. was it Mr. Kelly? No, Artie Bordendorfer. No, I didn't. Uh, you know who he is? I guess he's got to be before my time, 30, probably. 40 he years. Lives here now. Yeah. He, he, they, he uh, was banned out of, the, out of all the casinos because they wouldn't fade him anymore. He was betting too much money. Okay. He was, he, he's from Chicago, and he moves better than any living human play one pocket ever. Mm -hmm. He knows more shots in it than, any, than anybody. Borgendorfer? Borden. Borden. Already Bordendorfer. When he was in Chicago, nobody ever beat him. They come there. Wow. Ronnie Allen, Bugs, none of them guys beat him. Oh, Tony's just—he's not playing good. He's uh, he's he, you know, there's a first couple games, but that's kind of no excuse. You know, you, you got to come into this, pump, you know, heated and pumped. Jimmy Malazzo stopping by. He'll be in uh, the box with you guys a little later. Should have rolled it. <laughs> yeah, Should have rolled the ball. He didn't need to do that at all. He's Jimmy. Actually, you know, it'd be nice to have Jimmy talk with you guys for a bit because uh, Jimmy actually played a good few hours in one pocket with uh, with Boosty yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. I can't believe he didn't roll that ball. He said, Toop. I don't know what he was thinking. Bad mistake. That's a good shot right there. It cost him three balls. Just not, he just rolled the ball in the hole. Cost him the game. Look at this. He needs one. He only needs one ball? Yeah. That's in. It's a good shot. Oh, man. He doesn't. He didn't need the two. Played the Z Bank. Boost the money, trying to rifle across the corner bank. That was a hanger. See, that's just not not knowing the, the not knowing how to play the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he had any a, one pocket player is going to roll that ball. Yeah, he already had eight. See, I knew I knew I didn't miscount. People probably sitting there going, Daniel never gets the score right. But you know what? 
I knew he had eight balls. <laughs> starting, to, starting to make me feel like I'm crazy over here. Try so hard to keep good count on the balls nowadays, you know? So it's one apiece. It's just like when you watch when you watch bank actual bank pool players that play banks all the time. Mm -hmm. Or you watch a good nine ball player that banks good. There are certain banks that you shoot certain ways to make them easier. Yeah. And just like with the I mean, he should have never banked that ball that hard. Just because he still would could have got position on the other ball, just rolled it. Yeah. You know, and still could have had a shot on the other ball, as opposed to firing it. You know. I tell you what, though. Both these guys playing a little evenly, you know, evenly matched so, so far. So far. They're both making. Couple of careless errors. Oh, that's a nice shot. Uh oh. That's a little unlucky there. Yeah. That's actually, <laughs> yeah. That's unlucky when that happens. I just, I only looked at the first half of the shot. I didn't see what the second yeah. half was doing. I don't think he can make anything off the bat. Maybe he can cut that nine down the rail, but I don't know. It's unlucky Bustamante could tie those two balls up like that. Yeah, because know? that's not going to help him now. It's just only going to, um, it's only going to, uh, fan the flames for Tony. You know, he's only going to want to, yeah, see. What do you do? You spin this back or you play this? No, I'm just, just like that. He hit it good. Yeah, he did. He wants to cut this in. He wants to. I like this if it, if it goes by there. Oh, yeah. That's strong. Good shot. Getting this game tight. <laughs> you know, if you're streaming this outside, one pocket. Unless you know the game, it's a boring game. <laughs> yeah. Respect it. Yeah. See, nine ball, the balls say how to play. Oh, yeah. If you're shooting three, then everybody knows you're playing position for the four. And they know when the nine ball comes in, the game's open. They don't know anything about this. <laughs> Ed Kelly stopping to say hello. Says he's 78 years old. Doesn't look uh, really a day, look over, day 70. over 78, 77. Yeah, 77. <laughs> Meanwhile, 3, 6, 8, 10, 3, Wait, six. He's got five. Going for this 15. Yeah, you could spin underneath the five. That was good. That was good. He, he, he wasn't trying to make the 15. Mm -mm. And he froze those balls. This here's a little touchy. That's good. He's probably gonna shoot the one and go right back behind him again. No, I can't no, can't do it from here. Nope. Nope. There's two things Tony's gonna be able to do he, is that he does really well is he looks for a bank. <laughs> Terrible shot there. Oh no. He's gonna look for a bank and he's gonna look for a way to get balls to his hole. He's, and, he's, and he's, he's gonna have to execute some, if he can't he's execute. He's made a lot of bad shots to get to get 
sell out some balls so far. Yeah. You know, I mean, look, I mean, how could he possibly do what he just did? Careless error, you know. And that's how you play that Shut one. Up. You got lucky, unlucky to get jacked up over that ball. If he don't get jacked up over that ball, he gets draw back with your bing, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now he can't get behind the ball. He's going to be forcing to shoot his one to play position on the eight. That's pretty unlucky. He could come up, well, you don't want to come, come up to play it for the, That's, for the 10 ball. Oh, no, no. He just wants to roll this ball in. He just got to cinch this ball. Jacked up. Just like that. Beautiful shot. Yeah, yeah. Mm, just put the good. clock in. This is a natural angle now, just to come between the 6 and the 15. Yeah. You shouldn't have any problem here. To, you know, just make the ball and watch out for the 14. He's putting something on it, though. It looked like he was. Boom. He just shoots a 6 here. And just come right back straight up. Got to shoot the six here, Boosty. What are you looking at, dude? <laughs> really, can't shoot the four. He's looking, but I don't like it. Look, why would you not shoot the six? There you go. It's always good to look. Shoot the four, play for the bank on the 15 after that. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It don't go by there, I don't think. If it does, it's nice. Tony needs two from here. Couldn't draw his ball. Oh my God, he missed it a mile. This, this game is really being crazy. One one person is... I think their, their level of play will go up because they're just both selling out now, one after the other. It's kind of crazy. Take this ball out. Nice shot. Nice kill the cue ball. Use a little bit of inside English there. You left Tony a bank on the three, but this is no hanger. We hit it. We hit it good too. Oh my goodness. We hit it good too. Uh, 
Tony needs one. <laughs> That's game two for Tony. Clean the balls, yeah. Two, to, two games to one, yeah. All right, we're going to uh, take a quick intermission. This is Daniel Bush and Robert LeBlanc, Bobby Cotton. And uh, we'll be right back. The players are going to take a quick break. We're going to actually get the balls cleaned because there was a lot of warm-up this morning, too, or at least this afternoon. I don't think they cleaned them last night. You know, I've, I've probably played a 1,000 people at least. Uh -huh. I don't think I've ever had the balls cleaned when I was gambling. Ever. I, I find that a little strange too. No. I like them a little grippy. A little yeah, musty. Where you, where you put a little spin on there. <laughs> yeah. They spin better spit. when they're dirty. A little spit. Hey Daniel, will you spit on the balls for me? Gary. Gary. Uh they want the balls cleaned. Yeah. <laughs> so uh I'll be right back. I'm gonna uh Actually, I'm going to coordinate some sort of a scoreboard for these players because the, I guess we overlooked a scoreboard for uh, all the, you know, the sweaters in the room. And then I'm going I'm to bring Jimmy by and you guys can hang. You'll like him. I think you'll like Jimmy Malazzo. Well, they're going to clean the balls. So far, it's been a, kind of an unusual match. Every game could have went either way. They both had control of the game at both, you know, and made some kind of little careless kind of mistake and let the other person get back in the game. There's been a couple of couple of careless errors. Bustamante just suits so good, and I think Tony out moves him a little bit. But uh, boosting money's good shooting, I think, might uh, nullify that moving a little bit. Tony Banks good. Like this last game that Boosty should have won, he banked that ball short, cross corner, hard. It went two rails and hung in Tony's hole. If he banks, if he makes it, if he rolls the ball, he makes it then. He makes three or four others. He's, he's in charge. I don't know what made him decide to bank a ball that hard. Because you know, no matter how good you bank, when you hit a ball, banking them pretty hard, sometimes they don't go when he could have rolled it. Wasn't 
Well, everybody, we'll be back on, they're getting the balls clean, they'll be back up in action just real quick. The Mad Max a million. Bobby Cutting, are we live right now? Oh, really? 
Right. So, but three games only so far. Yeah. But that first game was beautiful, though. I thought it was a masterpiece. Boost money, especially. Actually, both of them are amazing. So, what's the deal here? Am I talking into that? Yeah. I'm I don't have sure. headphones or. No, is it into there? Okay. Is it live right now? I'll, I'll, Daniel should be back any second. Let me see. You said just go back here. And... Yeah, I'm sure. Get on there and see if it. See if we... Hello, hello. Oh yes. It's my buddy, the Mad Max Emilian. He's on. He's on the mic with me now. The Bobby Cotton, Robert LeBlanc, the legend. <laughs> so who just broke the balls? I guess Boosie just broke the balls. It looks like. Dude, I remember hanging out with you. My bank game went way up after hanging out with you for a few months. <laughs> man, uh, your bank boy. machine. That boy's house. No, you're the machine, man. Two, three, four, 15 rail banks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. This this match, that first game, was the greatest game of one pocket I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, Max. It, it was, was good, though, but it wasn't It was great. good. It was good. It was great. The way uh, Bustamani ran those balls. Good Lord. He should be lucked that he lucked that one in. Look at this, though. This is a great. This match is crazy. That's one of them Scott Frost shots where he likes banking balls and going three rails to get behind them ball. <laughs> yeah, minus one for. Uh, minus one, Tony. No. Yeah. Minus one, Tony. Tony owes one. If all the money's being bet on uh, Tony, who you like, Max? I I've been telling people Bustamani for the last several weeks. Ever since I saw him play in the Philippines and Boracay, uh -huh. played so amazing to come back from eight to one down in the semifinals to win nine eight against uh, Jeffrey De Luna, and then in the finals he beat Jeffrey Ignacio. Look at that shot, all on handy motion. Seven. You see what he just did. I saw that. Um, so I just think he was playing great. But you know what? I hadn't seen Tony play here. Tony's legend is just increasing every day. So just to have him in here, I can see why. He's just an unbelievable player. I can't believe it. Boosie just missed that ball straight in, ball in hand. Well, yeah, I don't know what he did. Maybe. Uh, you see how you see how crazy little little that is? He's, I mean, he's supposed to get. He's supposed to run four or five balls there at least. Could have, could have been uh, some kind of weird skid or something. No, he just he just, he just it overcut it. And listen, he's my, he's one of my favorite players of everybody right now. Yeah. Him and Alex. Well, Boosie just got second place to John Mora at the 10-ball tournament at Hard Times. How old is Mr. Money now? Do you know? I think he's like 50. Is he? 52. Bustamante. He's been playing good forever. Man. Looks like the ball rolled off. Um, but yeah, he made a nice shot and put the cue ball back here. Can he hit the ball? Let me see. You can't see. Well, I heard Trohan isn't missing any banks. He does bank good. And uh, Busamani is a, one of the best bankers in the world. I believe he's won the uh, Derby City Bank Pool. I know. I know Alex has. I know. Yeah, Boosie has. I'm pretty sure. Um, and he, in that tournament, he made like 15 out of 17 banks in the, in the last two matches. He was bank. That's sick. Yeah. I like this. He's just got to go hit the, hit the rail first. You know what I mean? <coughs> this is not too tough. Just make sure he don't hit it too. I hit it good. That's perfect. Oh, jeez. Well, he's pushed the ball away from the hole. I wonder if Tony will try to slice this one in. 
Mm-mm. Probably not. <laughs> well, you would. You um, you don't like you don't like to play safe, do you? Ten years ago, you'd be swinging. You know what I've gone through uh, changes in my one pocket game. I used to be never go for anything. And then every game was up table game. And then now I'm, I'm more offensive and stuff. This is shot here. Look at this. Yeah. And just park him right behind that ball on the rail. Boom, just like this. Yeah. There you go. Well, there's a formula for where he put the cue ball to get the cue ball to carry him to where it did. It's pretty easy. It's pretty basic. You know, yeah. a lot of times when the balls are in a spot like that, you can carry him one over and hide behind that ball. You know what I mean? Just look at this shot. And this, and this could be the greatest shot in pool history here. Jeez, Louise. Boy, he hit it good, too. I know. I mean, you think Twice. that wasn't hard? You see where he hit this ball two rails? Mm -hmm. I mean, what a hard ball to judge it, and he hits the rail, the long rail first. Boy, hit that ball good, too. That was... Whoosh. I know, what a... That was caroms. really He's got bad a luck. bad caroms. Yeah, that was a bad roll. Mm -hmm. Shit, just to hit the ball was... Mm. But I like seeing guys who know the shots, and whether he scratched or not, he still mm -hmm. got up and shot that mm -hmm. shot, and... I was about to learn just by watching. That's one thing about a lot of these top one pocket players. They're so automatic on picking the, the right shot so fast. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. And they have a couple shots at their disposal right away. Nope. Like it doesn't have uh, this table quite down in the banks yet. Or he was more focused on getting the cue ball where he wanted it, you know. I he? believe he's going to bank this ball and go down to the end rail. Or he could draw all the way back. Mm -hmm. Try to miss, you know, miss some two balls. He's drawing the ball. He done lost his mind. <laughs> Well, yeah, he wanted to hit the bottom of that seven, right, or, or go between yeah. in, in that hole. I'm telling you, man, they're both making mistakes. Really. They both, both sold out a lot. I mean, what's happening? Well... Seems like the pace of the game's picked up a little bit since since that first game. She's got Tony free stroking now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but you know, three to one, pretty quick. She had boost money. Oh, it's two. Oh, it's over. It's over. Well, fans, the score is three to one. What time is it here? It's only four, five, twenty. A lot of people ask me about the break. I, I, I tell them I like the break from closer to the rail, but you scratch more often. Like you're the one who taught me that, that. Put the cue ball out away from the rail a little bit. The yeah. end ball never pops out, mm -hmm. and you're like, he's a little close. I'd, I'd be out like two more inches. Right. But you know what? Some tables break. Yeah, I've seen them break real close to the rail, and, and it works too. It just depends. But this other way, when you break them off the rail, you move more balls, you mm -hmm. know, towards your hole. The other way, you usually get like two balls right there. I don't know. I don't like it. Really? I like I like breaking them off the rail. You're saying so? You're saying look at this. You get more balls. Look at this. Look at break that. up more balls when you break further away from the right. rail. Right. Oh, okay. See, because I always I thought it was a little different, at least for me. Um, you see what he just did? I do. I see that. He's trying to come in behind the ball and hit it. Well, he's made a couple of really bad shots the last couple of games. I don't know what he's doing. He's gone kind of fast, too. I like when, he's, when he slows down a little bit. Yeah. He, he gets his momentum going. Yeah, breaking the balls with a cue ball, like, uh, pretty far from the rail, mm -hmm. you get to uh, move a lot of balls toward your hole. You like to hit that one ball real thin when you do that? Split. Yeah, I split the first two balls. Yeah. 
Well, well this, this is kind of weird. Can you believe it's going to be four to one here? Well, I, would, I, uh, I wouldn't quite go that fast. It kind of depends <laughs> on what happens. You're funny, man. <laughs> I mean, it could be, though. But see what happens here. I mean, I'd bank the, I'd bank the one here and just draw back into the thing. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, like a, a one rail bank? On yeah, yeah, yeah. He don't want to shoot this bottom ball. That would be the wrong side. Just draw back into the stack or a little bit like that. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Up. Wow. And this ball goes. Oh, oh, it was, it was dead. Was it? Yeah, it was wired. Oh, serious? Yeah. Oh, okay. The carom combo? Yeah. Wow. We're talking over here, and Tony's dissecting this game. Takes a lot of concentration, you know. Uh, Tony has that. I tell you his trends. game I like better than Boosty's. I like Alex's game better. There's one pocket. Well, that's one big difference is how slow Alex plays one pocket. And you can see how fast Boost Money, at least right now, mm -hmm. is just jumping up. Alex might take a lot more time. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, it just, he needs one, I think. But everybody makes mistakes, even Alex. But most of the time, he plays great. He's, Alex is a legend. Who, uh, Alex? Yeah, a lot of people say he's the best in the world in one pocket right now. I think he is. And I'd like to see him and Scott play again. That'd be a good match. Yeah, it would. A lot of people would like to see that. Same with Trohan. Trohan is uh, making a run at the end of number one in the world if a lot of people think he is but he's right up there I tell you he's got to be in the top four you know three or four anyway which is pretty strong he's been winning a lot of tournaments a lot of action four to one <laughs> who would ever table sure looks nice though here at good times billiards <coughs> yeah, it's perfect viewing Great lighting. I like the uh, limelight they have set up here, the red and blue and purple lights. It's like a uh, TV set here. POV pool. Remember when Daniel started this? It's come a long way and got a huge following. Doing great, great job for pool. You been playing any Max? Not too much? A little bit every day, yeah. No. Well, you been playing here? Yeah, mostly here on, the, on this table. Pro Pool Academy too. I, could, I just try to get a, at least 20 minutes a day of pool in. What is Maybe that? Maybe a couple hours if I get a match. What is it? Pro Pool Academy. It's uh, my website where I have complete training for people who want to learn how to play pool. Everything from fundamentals to strategy. Oh, cool. Ebooks, downloads. It's got to be good because you got like perfect fundamentals, so that's got to be good Thanks, information. Man. Thank the you, Mad sir. Max just run 100. I'm waiting for your... Uh, when he wants to. Your uh, bank pool <laughs> video. Thanks, man. I want to see a uh, bank DVD from you or any kind of DVD because I love your book. What a one, huh? Well, it is time. Hmm. See, he could have banked the eight, had a, the cue balls right there, yeah. swung right over there. That's what I was thinking. You know, I mean, what, you know, that was not the right shot. Of course, he had a couple things that could happen there. You right. know, if he goes rail first and kicks that ball in. But I like banking the eight, swing coming over there. He had all the mother ball. You got to bank this behind those balls, pretty firm. Oh, that was pretty. What's 
sat in here, Daniel, now I came here. Hello? Uh-oh. Well, Pocket's amazing. Every shot is like a combination of offense and defense. Uh, Unless you're on a run where you don't care about the defense, but so many shots are creatively offensive and defensive at the same time. Oh, well, I can't hear much. What's going on? I'm good now. So when did you get your, when when did you start the hairdo? That's my question. I don't know. Last few months. Let me see the top. Looks pretty good. Thanks, Matt man. just got the hairdo. <laughs> I got a little bit of it going on in the front, but I don't have much hair left. Max got it going all the way up. I took notes from you, man. You looks good. Me, I'm uh, I like spikes it. going up. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I still had hair cotton. I said, he's just supposed to shoot this fine ball, bing, and go into this ball. Something might, something might spin in there. He just stopped the cue ball right there. That's the shot. Oh, there's nothing else to look. Just right. like that. Just yep. like that. There you go. Move, move some balls towards his hole. Got a little unlucky, nothing. Mm -hmm. You know. I believe this ball, but. Kind of a nice little wall. I thought he was, was going to roll it. Doesn't matter. Nope. Mm, the cut, and this is my favorite part of the one pocket when all the balls are down here and there's strategy and moving, mm -hmm. you know, where first guy to really mess up could lose the game. That was a cool shot. You had to kill the cue ball right there. You had it good. Two rails, carry them off the stack towards your hole. I saw Scott Frost do that on uh, YouTube. Hard to tell. Can you hit the one here? Yep. It's so tricky looking at the, what's going on now? Am I okay? Yeah. It's hard, you know, because like I was telling, mentioned earlier how this game is so funny, like just a, if a ball's a hair over one way or the other, it changes the whole shot around, just a hair. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Keep a ball from banking or double kissing or whatever. I mean, or nine ball, you, you know, it's like a, Shoot the one in the corner, two in the side. It's pretty, you know. It's harder to commentate on this, especially on the monitors. Man, Boosty hit a couple uh, shots earlier where the cue ball went and froze on the rail. Mm -hmm. like two in a row in that very first game. It's like his speed control. He needs to channel uh, that first game into this whole mm -hmm. session. So that's why I'm curious about the matchup and styles and, and the stamina uh, and how the rhythm of the match ends up. It seems like Tony's kind of turned it around from that first game. A lot. Right? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the whole momentum of the game was swung around. Because Tony was like a little bit, not dogging it, but he was tight. Mm -hmm. Now he's completely loosened up and looks like Boosie Money's a little tight. It's completely. You know what the shot is here? Shoot this ball here, carry it off that ball, and the cue ball floats over here. Mm -hmm. This ball, just like that, when you hit it bad, you want, you want, it, right. should cut it more. It carries yeah. off that ball, floats in front of the hole, and the cue ball hits the rim, and it squats. Right on that ball, right mm -hmm. on that ten ball. Because that that scenario comes up a lot, right? With that sit situation, he he didn't he hit it bad.
Con, did you ever know Willie Joplin? No, no, the name, like, well, you know, I don't know. They call him, I don't know if they called him uh, Crabtree, or maybe the Crabtree was another guy, his friend. But uh, Willie Joplin, yeah, he's a real one-pocket aficionado. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, I've heard about his book and stuff. He's a super nice guy. Where's he from, back east? Uh, yeah, I think Tennessee or something. He passed away a few years ago. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he is now. Uh, he lived to be in his 80s, I think. He was real soft-spoken. You know, he'd do these exhibitions, trick shots and stuff. Mm -hmm. He'd talk so quiet that no one could hear him. <laughs> really? At least in his later years. Yeah. Know? I mean, so kind of everyone had to be quiet. They had to really listen to him. But he came out with a few, uh, like, one-pocket flashcards, like this set that he would sell. Had a bunch of shots. And oh, really? Pretty cool. I think I have it somewhere. I should find uh, his family <coughs> and see if I can get the like the rights to distribute them or something because I'm sure he's got a lot of information that people would want. You know, you can never learn too much in one pocket, you know. Are you, you going to be doing thing at the Rio at the BC? Yeah, I'll be actually playing in the 10-ball, 8-ball, 8-ball U.S. Open, the 9-ball challenge thing, five days, I think, on the 25th. I thought it started in like um, next day or two. Well, it does, but not the U.S. Open, like the pro events. But all the all the other events start on the twentieth. Uh huh. Uh, Thorson Holman won last year the ten ball bar box. U.S. Yeah. Open the eight ball. Who won that? Uh, Dennis Oculio maybe or? Yeah, I, see, I can't remember. Or Shane, one one of those two probably. I don't know. If, if it wasn't them, sorry, whoever won that. I'm sure, I'm sure you can look on the website. Last year. But Dennis is always a good pick for God, who God, won he hit that ball. He shot good. He hit that ball on the side. Look where the cue ball is. And nice spot. A little bit inside and spun down there. Beautiful. Split the pocket. <clears throat> Beautiful shot. Boy. Yep. If it didn't really? go, it would have been hanging. The ball would have been <clears> hanging. <throat> and uh, Tony wouldn't have had a clear shot on either one of those two stripes. <clears throat> Both these guys have big, beautiful strokes. Like, probably two of the nicest strokes in the whole pool world. Like, Him and Alec, for sure. Alec? Alex. Alex? Alex has more compact. <clears throat> like, he gets down, his practice strokes are like one or two inches, and then he rears back and hits it. But he's deadly accurate. You know, I mean, his stroke is real straight. Mm -hmm. But these guys, as far as, like, what their strokes look like, their warm-up strokes, they've more like free flowing, yeah. All big back swings on the practice strokes, like. What's the ball count here? I think Alex and Dennis have a similar style, just like laser beam strokes, compact. Yeah. Hey, there you go, Boosty. Um, Four to two. So, did anything start the Rio today? I don't even know. What date was the date today? 19th. I believe so. Um, they're setting up by three over there, like tables. So yeah. Daniel says something starts. They probably, probably got something going over there. Daniel said they did. I don't think CSI starts till tomorrow. Though. Yeah, that's right. CSI starts tomorrow, says Daniel. Um, tell you what, though, this is a good match. Anybody in Vegas ought to swing by here. There's still some seats left. For 20 bucks, you can get standing room or one of the high chairs in the back. Or for a hundred bucks for the whole uh, that's weekend. That's a good deal for three days. Yeah, that's a good deal. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there's guys who will uh, who will bet you over here if anyone wants a sweat bet.
Cotton, I played a uh, one pocket session on this table mm. last summer, just about a year ago. Um, ended up playing for like 12 hours. It went, it went real long. And I ended up in bed for two weeks because my back was hurt. I was actually on the floor. Really? In my bedroom. Did you mess your back up? Yeah, so I was just on the floor for two weeks, didn't leave the house, nothing. Why did that happen, you think? I think I aggravated an old injury from when I was in the uh, surf in Mexico back when I was 22 years old. Like a wave almost wow, killed me, snapped really? me in half. And once in a while it comes up where I get a little pain for a couple of days, but never two two weeks. It was from playing pool. It was hurting already that I played pool all night anyway. Look at that shot. Wait, he even lost his mind. Is that Tony's pocket on the left right there? Right there. I was going to say if that was his pocket, it would have been perfect. Trying to cut that ball backwards. <laughs> you know. What if he made it, though? He would have run out. He's well, if he'd have made it, he still had no shot. Yeah, well. So that was pretty hey, unlucky. Been, yeah, if he got a shot. Now this, you figure Tony to run out if he gets shape on his next ball. Still got a little little uh, shoot the tricky the thing to do. We should shoot the two, then the six. Go into the 14, maybe, or just kill the cue ball. Just swing right up there behind the six, going between three and six. You mean the three and the uh, 14? Yeah, the three and the six, but I was thinking he might run the cue ball into the 14. But, but if he hits the eight, he'll be, uh, he can come off the eight. I think he was trying to hit that eight. Yeah, I think gotten. he just maybe just making sure he made the ball, maybe. But oh, I would just swung up in there and shot that ball next. Oh. But it doesn't matter from here. Oh, he has a shot on the eight. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So I guess he was trying to do that. Well, he let it get away a little bit. Um, good news is he can still see it. it but this is crucial because if he misses, he'd leave uh, Boosty a shot. Oh, unbelievable. Looks like I called it, but is the nine blocking the one? Uh, or he might make think the nine. I that it is. I don't think, he, I don't is, think uh, he can make the one. If he can't make the one, Tony got a real look. <laughs> I know. That's it, like well, all the balls. I said the game's right there. I know. I don't think he can hit it. Daniel maybe. says he can make it, but, uh, well. well. I guess he can. <laughs> he's he's famous for this play. shot. He's he's um, arguably the best in the world at that stance right there. You know who was there for, all, for the history of pool? No. <laughs> the history of pool? <laughs> for the history of pool, the greatest behind-the-back player of all times by far was Cornbread. Oh wow! Yeah, I've seen, seen him picture. gamble that way in the book. His picture is it? I've seen him. Yeah. I've seen him match up that way in Detroit when I was there. Cotton, you're the king of grand sweeping statements. I love it. Like in your stories, when you say, uh, "You say, oh, she was the most beautiful girl you ever seen, most beautiful girl in the world who ever lived." <laughs> that one in Detroit was her name was <laughs> Stacy. Oh my God. Drove me crazy. Oh, I had to cut. I had to cut her loose. She looked so good. I, yeah, it was making me want to just be with her all day. I didn't want to leave. <laughs> oh my god, that's not good. You know the lizard, right? Yeah. He made me crack up one day. He told me there was this girl in the coffee shop. He never met her, but he went up to her and he said, "You can't talk to me for a month." Because she was so beautiful, he didn't want to get all screwed up in the head getting to meet her and talk to her, so he had to, like, <laughs> gather himself for a whole month. And then he ended up, after that month, she ended up uh, being his girlfriend oh, for funny. a couple of years. And, and she was, like, 25 years younger than him or something like that. But he's old, he's a smoothie. At, uh, the lizard. The lizard. Where, he's not in town no more, is he? Uh, maybe not at the moment. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a little while, but... Well, Bustamani's over here uh, running out. He needs a ball. He needs an onion. <laughs> a 
Why you fire at it, Boosty, like you did the last one? Well, you had, a, you had an angle to do that. I know. Uh, well, you know that. <laughs> well, I think he needs another one. Oh, wow. Well, you got shape on it, that's for sure. <laughs> We're going to kill the scorekeeper. <laughs> Hey, what well, this is a beautiful production. I'm looking, we got four cameras at least going right now. Um, all these different views, it's awesome. No, oh, oh. don't tell me he needs another one. <laughs> well. I think he's playing Tony 10 8. You might fire this uh, <coughs> six ball bank and try to draw the cue ball uh, one rail to, to the side rail down here and then down to the end rail in case he misses and hit it hard. Because I don't know if he can if he can make it pocket speed. I don't. Uh, no, he can pass that ball, Max. Look, oh, can, yeah. he, can he just a little, a little top soft. right? And just float it over there a little high right? Yeah, maybe so. Oh, he's not even, he's going for the combo, huh? No, he ain't doing nothing. Yep. If he banks that ball and something goes haywire, all these balls are, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I still would have slow rolled it over there the nine, the six. Look at this shot. 7-3, Busamani is the scorer in the game right now. Now, see, he's supposed to just roll this ball over there. He ain't supposed to hammer this one. So you gotta kind of juice it up, don't you? Kind of just straight up, just like oh, that's the right shot, just like that. You had to juice it up. He didn't want that ball to hang there, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <clears throat> love how Bussman handles the cue ball when he's yep. doing something. Can they hear the music at home in here, you think? Dire Straits? I, was, I don't know, but I was about to say this is one of the most legendary, greatest rock songs of all time. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Look at this shot. Look at this shot, will you? I think this song pumped up Tony. It's like the ultimate pool playing song. Oh my God, how could he miss a ball that bad, that shot? That puts him in the middle. If he makes that one and banks 11, he's back in the middle of the thing. Didn't Dire Straits sing center field also? Look at me, I can be center field. Is that them? Oh, I don't I can't remember. Maybe that's someone else. <clears throat> Look at this shot. Well, oh, goodbye. Should be like a one pocket soundtrack where you make the head ball. I can make it nine out of ten times. Where Which you make one? the head ball straight Are you in. Serious? Yeah, I'd shoot it from here. I'm gonna twist your arm to show me that. I make it days. like nine out of ten times. If I don't make it, I'm gonna hang it. And then how close does the other ball get to two rail bank? Close, but yeah. But the cue ball I'm gonna be done will be down there about the chalk. Okay. Yeah, see, that ain't worth it. Ain't worth it. Man, it's like a, that, that head ball's a hanger. It really is. I mean, you, it, it's one of them shots you got to be able to know how to execute. Oh, man. Because <clears throat> it comes up a lot. I don't say it's a hanger, but just, you know. Well, it sounds like you know how to make it. I'm, I'm, <clears throat> that's good information, man, in case we, you know, in case, uh, <laughs> no, in case I could get a chance to twist your arm to show me that, really. And there's more than one way to shoot it, too, which is nice. I mean, you can. Yeah. 
Where you, where you at? Where you living at now? What, what? I'm just uh, right now. I moved out, so I'm here in Vegas, but uh, I'm at a temporary location in Vegas. It's a shadow government temporary location. <laughs> Undisclosed location. Uh, now, so he's supposed to. Is he making this ball two rail? No, he's supposed to look, play this off the 11 and slide right over there, just like that. No, he hit it bad. Been better off just hitting that ball mm -hmm. and trying to carry him off there and putting the cue behind on balls. Right. You know? Same, that, that shot comes up two or three times a game. The same scenario. Uh, he overlooked it. He's going to play the billiard. This mine is a virtuoso. When you look at his stroke, is if you go like above where he's shooting and look down, it's totally going side to side. Who? Oh, yeah. yeah, but it's the most beautiful stroke in the pool world. He thought I know he's yeah, it's weird. He's going all over but he's look he, at this. Uh, he gets that's what I'm saying, he's a virtuoso. It's something you, you it would be hard just to teach. It's not impossible, but <coughs> oh. Mm-hmm. No, boosty one, boosty. Okay. It's a little dark. I, I lost track of who was shooting, but uh, Busamani's within one game now, just like that. This is actually going faster than what I expected. Remember what I said earlier when you said it was going to be four in a row, and I said not mm -hmm. quite yet. Mm -hmm. Boosty's dangerous, man. You can't. Can't freewheel too much and leave him. <laughs> you know, no, I mean, I mean, those guys are just too tough. And if you get him down, can't can't be like, oh, well, this is over. No. Oh my God, Busamani can come back.